Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Fleabag is coming for Laura Croft now. I just... Uh, I'm like, she was one of the writers on the James Bond movie, and look what happened there. Yeah, Fleabag herself, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, is going to be in charge of the Tomb Raider franchise, apparently. Uh, so this is going to go so well. Of course, we know she is uh, going to spread her her essence all over Indiana Jones 5. Now there are rumors that they're they're reshooting the ending, so it's not... Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's true or not. I but, don't know. Um, it is interesting. I mean, people saw... They kept saying, oh, no, no, there wasn't any previews, but there was a lot of people who, who talked about the previews before the trailer came out, yeah. and it lined up exactly with the trailer. Yes. You know, yes. so that's, you know, weird, but... So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 290,000, almost 291,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube being YouTube. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about this. We do talk about video game news on occasion. We've been talking about Phoebe Waller-Bridge in relationship to Indiana Jones 5, which the rumor was she was going to have a very big part in it and potentially, possibly, maybe replace Harrison Ford at the end of the movie uh, as the new Indiana Jones or Kentucky Kate or whatever they're going <laughs> to call her, you know. Uh, but uh, now she's coming for Tomb Raider, too. So this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Tomb Raider film in the works as Amazon makes rich rights deal for Marvel-like franchise exclusive. Because, you know, nothing could possibly go wrong like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to leave this. Here. I saw this on Twitter yesterday. I'm like, this is hilarious because this just shows how poorly, <laughs> poorly they managed the money. They, they, they made such a big deal. Like, it's a billion dollar show. It's going to be so amazing, guys. It's going to make the Jackson movies look so bad. So bad. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Look at that. You know, look at that. Look at this. Yep. This looks... This looks so great, guys. Uh, so let's talk about this. Sources say the goal of the streamer is to connect Phoebe Waller-Bridge's penned TV series, video game, and movie, and possibly more. So they're basically putting her in charge of Laura Croft. Yay. Well, and there's a couple of reasons, yay. One, it's her, and two, it's Amazon. Yes. Both of which give me zero confidence. I mean, can you have negative confidence? Because that's where I'm at. Confidence is negative 9,000 at this point. When there's two negatives, it does not equal positive. It equals extra negative. Amazon is building a Tomb Raider franchise. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that the retail giant and streamer has teamed with Dimitri Johnson's DJ2 Entertainment for a massive rights deal to make a Tomb Raider feature film in addition, in addition to the newly announced TV series from Phoebe Waller-Bridge and at least one video game in the Lara Croft franchise. I mean, a new movie, okay. The last one was in eh. And a video game, definitely. Okay, you know, but then, then you tap a TV series and then you tape it's Phoebe Waller-Bridge and then you lost me. I'm sorry, you lost me completely at that point. The idea is to build out a connected world of Tomb Raider with the video game, TV series, and film all interconnected in a fashion akin to what Marvel has already accomplished. Actually, this is going to be like, like She-Hulk, but with, with Tomb Raider. With a lot of money and on Amazon. And twerking. And then all the media will, you know, right off the bat, tell everybody that they're horrible, hateful, filled people if they don't like it. It'll come out. It'll, it'll be dog shit. He'll be like, you just hate strong women in video games. No, I know she's been in the game since the 90s, but you just hate strong women in video. You just want to see her breasts jiggle, don't you? And Phoebe Waller-Bridge doesn't have any breasts to jiggle. So what are we going to do? No, she's not starring. No, she's, she's not starring it. But that oh, would, that'd be the next thing starring, and I'd be like, hell no. That would be hilariously bad. I actually would probably watch it just to see how bad it would it would be. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she's gonna star in it. Uh, I don't know. But there's a show running. She's gonna show run it. She'll insert herself somehow. She'll be like Laura's mentor or something. You know. Mommy, men mommy. suck. Do we mention men? Thank God, Laura Girl, Tomb Raider's a woman already, because otherwise it would be a woman by the end. <laughs> this, this franchise would be great when it fits a woman. One source with knowledge of the pack described it as being among the largest commitments at Amazon after Lord of the Rings. Again, wait, how much? They spent how much on Lord of the Rings, and it, and it bit them in the ass so much that so they're probably have to get new people to run it. And this is the second biggest. Second biggest thing at Amazon. So it's like fail upwards. 
Uh, by comparison, Amazon is estimated to have spent $250 million on rights alone in The Lord of the Rings, with that deal covering a multiple season show. Uh, reps for Amazon, reps for Johnson declined to comment. While Waller Bridge is attached to write the script for the Tomb Raider TV series, the Fleabag Emmy winner is not involved in the film or the game. Waller Bridge is said to be a big Tomb Raider fan. But was she big? Was she a big uh, James Bond fan? An Indiana yeah. Jones fan? Yes, right. I love it so much. I'm going to make it me. And was eager to be involved in the TV series, although she's not currently attached to star in the project. That Thank has God. A series green light currently. Currently, you know what they're probably waiting on. They're probably waiting on to see how Indiana Jones Five. Because if Indiana Jones Five does well, I could absolutely positively see them be like, well, yeah, she's like the the uh, adventuring archaeologist girl. So we're going to put her in as Lara Croft because that makes so much sense. It just that makes so much sense. Um, yeah. So I don't think anybody wants this. I, I, I don't want this. Do you want this? No, I don't even really care. Like is Tomb Raider still a thing? Cause they keep a, trying to make it a thing. And, uh, I know the, I don't think the last game did great. I have to look into that, but I don't think it did fantastic. Like nobody's, I know the movie didn't do well. The last movie. Yeah. The last movie didn't do well. Like nobody's really talking about Tomb Raider. Like they were back in the nineties, early two thousands. Tomb Raider was like one of the biggest game franchises. And now it's just like, Oh yeah. Tomb Raider still exists. Right. Hmm. Still exists, but well, that's and, okay. And the she, problematic times, they weren't problematic, but they keep trying to say they were. Yeah. Well, I noticed that her breasts aren't as big as they used to be. And she's wearing pants instead of shorty shorts. Oh, yeah, of course. Because this is this is uh, Laura Croft reimagined for But let's be honest a modern here. If audience. you're out there doing the stuff she's doing, I wouldn't be wearing shorty shorts. No, but it's I'm a video like, game. Yeah, because, yeah, okay. You know, here's that thing, though. I mean, pants make sense. I'm sorry. You can get pissed if you want. Sensible pants. Okay, there, you know, if she's going to keep wearing the tank top, okay, you don't have to shrink the boobage, but the, the pants make way more sense than booty shorts. Anyway, uh, yeah, so now they're starting to pump up her, her appearance in Indiana Jones 5. There are a lot of articles out there that she is. She is so excited. It's a dream come true. I finally get to take the hat. Harrison yeah, if, the hat you know, never that's comes the off. rumor. That's the rumor. Uh, again, this is coming from, let's see, this was yesterday, coming from Geo News. There are several articles out there talking about how excited she is. Um, she's She got candid about her role in the upcoming, much-awaited movie, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. She's 37. She's going to be playing Indy's wayward goddaughter, Helena, in the upcoming installment of the franchise. Phoebe revealed her character is mysterious but charming, and while coming across as the girl next door, she's also a grifter. How dare they? A grifter. I mean, actually using the grifter in the real term, not the term they try to keep sticking it on YouTube channels. Anybody who makes money doing anything is a grifter. Oh, I think it's funny because, meanwhile, the ones that are actually grifting are the media outlets they kiss their ass for. Well, this is kind of a grift because, you know, she's, she's getting herself attached to all of these action franchises, you know? Um... British actress said it's a dream come true to appear in an Indiana Jones movie. Oh, yeah, and to work alongside Harrison Ford. It was a very easy part to say yes to because I was told that they are going to off him in the end and I get to wear his hat. That's going to be if fun. that's true, yeah. And then I'm going to be in all the Indiana Jones movies going forward is Kentucky Kate or whatever her name is, Kentucky Catherine. Uh, Phoebe further shared making the film was everything I could have hoped for with a chance to work on my own stunts and action sequences so I can get ready to be Lara Croft, too. I mean, nothing's saying that, but it, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm, hey, it would not surprise me at all. So it's like, here's a new, here's a new Tomb Raider series written by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, a show run, ran by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, directed by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, starred in by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. It's a funny story. So like one time Neon was on a Transformers story. It was one of those, what was it called? Oh, it was um, an IDW. It was a backup. It was uh Oh God! I forget what they call called. those? I forget. But anyway, he, they were they put teams together, and he was assigned to work with a writer. And there was another person that, that was supposed to be doing what colors or something. Yeah, he was supposed to come in as a colorist, and he was pretty well known. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Was name he well names. known? I don't think he really was. In, in Transformers fan circles, he was pretty well respected, well known. But he was as a color. He was the color. He was supposed to color. Well, he went in and he literally redrew the whole thing. 
Okay. Re rewrote the script. Rewrote the script. And then he turned, because he already had connections at IDW at that point. This was before I was doing work for them directly. And then he turned it in. And it was like his name. On you know, every credit. On every credit. Written by, you know, Directed drawn by, by drawn colored by. by. Well, it didn't go through. No, um, I actually wrote. No, actually, I thought he said it to you first and then you, you intervened because you're like, hell no, because the writer was upset. No, he sent it, he sent it directly to IDW because he already knew people at IDW and then sent me a copy. Just says, oh, by the way, just so you know, this is what I did, you know. But that wasn't the deal. That wasn't the deal. I'm like, hey, motherfucker, you slow your roll there, pal. You literally just steamrolled over everybody else working on this. And uh, yeah, I was pissed. And that's, but that's before I was working for them directly. But it got reverted back. It did. They're like, oh yeah, we can't, we can't have that. Like we thought you agreed to this. I'm like, no, 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 no. Why would I agree to having him just like draw, redraw everything over my stuff? Why would, yeah. Why was, would the writer agree to have him rewrite the entire changed. script? It's like, no, he just decided, you know, it was his time to shine and he was going to, he was going to do everything. He himself. was, he was, he, he, he sought to be a colorist and then he yeah. took over everything because he was the last person to get his hands on it. Yes. And that's what he did. Yes. And, and, but he did, he had it like written by him, drawn by him, colored by him, so edited pissed. by him, et cetera, et cetera. Like any, so any like credit you can give yourself. He literally gave himself the entire credit for like, and then he put like, and then the name you or, and the other guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it we were ridiculous. like, we were, we were like second, we were second fiddle to the day. Damn colorist. On your own project. On our own project. It was like, what the hell are you? So that's what this hell? reminds me of. What the hell? Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty much. Like, I mean, I think she's, I honest to God think she's going to angle get herself put in as Laura Croft. She's going to be like, look, she's man. No longer, she's no Laura Croft, though. No, but it doesn't matter. This, this isn't Lord of the Rings. So it doesn't really matter, does it? This yeah, is Amazon too. Amazon's in charge of the she live action. Yeah. That you never hear anything about anymore. I think that one got disappeared. Canceled. I think I, so too. I think it got canceled. I think what happened was <laughs> if please Lord say it got canceled. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I want Nobody it wants this. Old school fans, new school fans, nobody wants the Amazon Shira series. I think what happened because Amazon laid a bunch of people off and they put a lot of money in Lord of the Rings, did not perform the way they were hoping oh, it would perform. I wonder why. Everybody um, warned them for months it was not gonna go well, and they oh no. Fire our scholar and put one that will agree with what we say on and everything else. Yeah, and um, she's the right type of person. Yeah, because that's the thing. You can't do a Shira. I mean, a Shira would be a very expensive. Well, no. if done correctly, or they'd be like, "Hey, let's modernize Shira," because they had this ridiculous like Avatar. Well, they had this ridiculous idea floating around for a Shira. Oh, reboot. the rock band. The rock band. Yeah, it was like Shira was in a rock band current year, and then she would turn into Shira. It was like what? The, that's gem. Did you watch yes. these? Did you actually and, and, watch and these? And they ruined Jem. I mean, and they ruined these Gem. guys in particular, but they ruined Jem, which I still won't watch that movie. But I remember, like, that, yeah, the old rumor for She-Ra was going to be this rock band thing. So when it came out, they were going to bring She-Ra back and make it a She-Ra show. I was all excited, and I ran, and I got Neon, and I was like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And I'm reading through it, and it said, and it's going to be showrun, you know, showrunner Noelle Stevenson. Time it was oh, Noelle Stevenson. And I, little words were, oh, shit. Because I knew exactly what was going to happen. And exactly what I knew was going to happen was what happened. It's like Tumblr fanfic confirmed. That's exactly what was going to happen. So, yeah, I don't have any hope for this. I just think it's really interesting. She is setting herself up to be the uh, the female action star. She's well, she could be in Star Wars next and everything else, too. She's already Lucasfilm. So, and, and, and the new Marvel movie. Written by and starring Fever Waller Bridge. The new Star Wars movie, written by and starring Fever Waller Bridge. Yes, yes. Whatever franchise is out there that's worth money, she's going to insert herself into it. That is correct. She's going to. Whether or not you want it or not. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.